Welcome. Y'all yeah, ready? It's going down. Ladies. Is she the new? Is she the truth? Or is it false? Our lashes lip gloss. How much did that cost? Ain't no BS boss. Left being employed, she got a show. Floss, dentistry, officer in the streets, local or industry, Ghana or Italy, Bishop or Kennedy, her drive infinity. You feeling me? He should act. Welcome to She's Got a Show. I am your host, Akeisha Lockhart, and I'm hanging out with an old friend, Chase Adams. You all have met him before. I interviewed him all on Eastwomike.com, but now he's on my talk show, She's Got a Show. So if you have not seen this young man play, you need to check him out because he's really, really good. But we're not talking strictly about hoops today, Chase, because we've already done that. I, along with about 26,000 other people that follow him on Instagram, know that he has a little bit of a thing for fashion. So that's what we're gonna we're gonna dive into that and mix it mix some hoops in there. Are you are you ready to talk about fashion and, and hoops? Your two passions, it seems, Chase. Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Yep. All right, I'll take it easy on you. Okay. Okay. This this will be like a layup. Real simple. <laughs> All right, ready? So first things first. How many shoes, pairs of shoes, do you have exactly? Do you do you even know? I remember counting for you on the phone, but I don't remember how many. Okay, give us a ballpark. Around 40 or more. Okay. More. Okay. When it, you all, when it gets to a point when you have to think about it, because I could probably tell you off the top of my head, which I'm so embarrassed at this point now to say after that, but if you have to think about it, it's a lot. So about 40, you said. Yes. What are you rocking today? Well, I got the infrared 23 sixes. Uh, H&M shirts and H&M jeans. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what is it about the kicks that you're wearing today specifically? What What do you like about what do, What do you What does a young man like yourself? Because you are how old? Fourteen. You're fourteen years old. So what do you look for when with with a sneaker? When it comes to sneakers in particular, what makes a good sneaker? Sneakers that nobody else has. Okay. So like these. It was tough getting these. My dad came through for me. <laughs> okay. I had a couple connects. So okay. You, you probably wouldn't see these around that okay. much when we walk in the gym. Okay. So then, is are these just strictly for style, or are you b playing ball in them, or both? These these are strictly for style, but a lot of shoes that I have, every once in a while, I might throw them on the court as well. Okay. Just for style. Switch it up a little bit. Yep. Okay. So I saw something on Instagram that she posted. Mm -hmm. And tell me if I'm right or not. You own a pair of Kanye West tennis shoes. Yes. Is that correct? Okay, that's correct. So. Well, not exactly. Not exactly. Okay. How does that work? Okay, so the Yeezys are Kanye West shoes. Okay. And of course, Nike uh, made a lot of colorways with the shoe because of how popular the shoe got. Mm -hmm. So I have one of the colorways, but it's of a popular shoe as well. Okay. So I got the Yeezy phone posits. Okay. So it's basically the same. So for all those of us out there that do not own a pair yet or maybe ever, can do they live up to the hype? Because those shoes, I mean, I've seen like report news reports about people like them selling out, people being in lines to get them. Are they actually really quality good shoes? I'm glad you brought that up because last night uh, my friend was over here. He stayed, he been staying the whole weekend. Okay. He just left actually. Okay. He was looking at my shoes and he was like, man, I wish I could have got them. I had them, but I took them back because I wanted some other shoes. Okay. Now he regrets that he took the shoes back. So he could say they lived up to the hype. And not that many people have those as well. Right. I had them on ice for a long time. Wait, uh, repeat that? Uh, I had them on ice for a long time, so I didn't wear them for a while. Okay. Kind of let everybody mess theirs up. If oh, wow. Had. Okay. So So there's a method to this. Yeah. Method to the man. Can't wear the shoes out the store. Okay. Can't wear them out the store. Mm -hmm. So, whose style is similar to yours, NBA player-wise? Nobody. Nobody? <laughs> okay, alright. Well then, whose style do you like? I like the way... 
I like some of Dwayne Wade's outfits. Rusty, he just, just kind of do a little bit overboard. Okay. Uh, yeah, Dwayne Wade probably my guy because he's just a trendsetter like what I want to be. But sometimes he overdoes it as well. So I just had to go with Dwayne Wade sometimes. Okay. I was recently watching an interview with Serena Williams. She said that she doesn't like to read her criticism good or bad when people the media write stuff good or bad about her because it goes to her head either way do you read the criticism good or bad about you and how does that affect you well because uh on instagram when i read my comments go down my news news feeds my timeline of course i get to see it i see a lot of it i just don't let it go to my head that that might be our different me and serena she probably lets hers go to the head i don't let mine go to my head um, bad or good. Okay. What's the worst thing that you ever heard about yourself? Well, of course, everybody that knows me or knows of me knows that I'm undersized for my grade, age, whatever you want to say, I'm undersized. Yeah. Uh, that's that's really the one that gets under my skin, but I, I, I've learned to overcome it and just ignore it and keep going. Okay. I like that. Turn it negative into a positive. Right. I like that. So we're going to do something that I like to do with my guests. I like to do rapid fire questions, but because we're going to switch it up a little bit today and do something different. So I have this little, this little segment that I want to do with you and we're going to have to figure out a better name for this because it's pretty weak. Five things I learned about you on social media. So we're going to have to work on that because it's just, it's, it's kind of weak. But these are some of the things that I learned about you. So we're going to go through this quickly and I want you just to say a comment about them, about what I'm asking. So like, do you want me to say just a word? Yeah, just something quick. We're going to go through it quick. Whatever's the first thing that comes to your head, okay? You ready? Are you scared? No. You're not scared? All right, let's do this. You used to play the violin. Do you still? 